There's this setting in the NVIDIA control panel called pre-rendered frames. And essentially what it allows your CPU to do is queue up frames or pre-render the frames to be processed by the graphics card. The value can be set from one to four or it has the default setting of use 3D application setting. However, what does it really do in benchmarks and in the real world? Let's find out. So before I installed my 5820K, I was playing around with my 4670K rig and I installed Windows 8 and I started up Crisis 3 and I noticed the input lag. It was actually really bad. Um, and then after that, I looked in the control panel. I noticed the pre-rendered frames was set to 4. So essentially what this was allowing Crisis 3 to do was set up or pre -rend allow the CPU to pre-render 4 frames for the graphics card to put out to the monitor. Uh, when I changed this back to 1, the input lag disappeared. So this is an interesting setting and when I obviously, uh, when I tested it in benchmarks, it made a difference in some games. Not all games because not all games will allow the NVIDIA control panel to change the particular setting for that game. However, in Battlefield 4 it did make a difference. I'll show you guys the benchmark here. The pre-rendered frames on 4 on my 4670K gave frame rates of 185.44. This is at 1080p on the test range. Uh, with pre-rendered frames set to 1, I immediately noticed a frame drop to 168.08. Now I usually have this setting on 1 as I just hate input lag. It, it bothers me a lot. Anyway, we're moving on to Crisis 3 at Ultra 1080p. It didn't make much of a difference, uh, only being one frame in the benchmarks. However, the input lag was simply unplayable with pre-rendered frames on 4. Cinebench was a benchmark that actually made a difference with this setting on Windows 8. Uh, this was 152.31 with the setting set to 4 and pre-rendered frames set to 1 it was 147.43 on the OpenGL test. Uh, Skyrim and Firestrike they, and Armor 3 they did not make a difference at all so this is an interesting setting to play with and uh, ultimately your mileage may vary. Now on some games it may uh, introduce uh, glitches or artifacts so that's up to you guys to decide uh, honestly if you don't want to have any problems or run into any problems and you're not having a problem with input lag then I'd just recommend leaving this setting on the default of use 3d application setting however if you're like me and you just hate input lag with a passion then I recommend setting this setting to 1 also if you're a pro benchmarker you may wish to set this setting to 4 Though, again, your mileage may vary. However, it's an interesting setting, and I'd like to discuss it more with you guys in the comments. So if you like this video as well, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys with another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.